This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. A new state report finds Washington counties could save money and still hold criminal defendants accountable. Governor Jay Inslee and State Attorney General Bob Ferguson are urging gun dealers in the state to abide by the terms of Initiative 1639. And there's a big sale coming up in the Wenatchee Valley soon that you certainly won't want to miss. The Moses Lake Chiefs softball team has taken the Big Nine every year for the past six seasons, and this year looks to continue that trend. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. A new state report finds Washington counties could save money and still hold criminal defendants accountable by eliminating cash bail in some circumstances and instead releasing them on oversight conditions before trial. The report issued by the Washington State Auditor's Office finds that bail alternatives, ranging from simple reminders of a trial date all the way to electronic monitoring, can reduce jail populations and costs and still convince a defendant to appear at scheduled court dates. The savings for Washington could be anywhere from $6 million to $12 million, and the report says new approaches could cut down on recidivism. Nationwide, 75% of people in jail are held there for nonviolent crimes, and 62% have yet to be convicted. If they're unable to pay money bail, they can wind up kept in jail for a period longer than their potential sentence. In Washington at any given time, about 6,500 people are jailed and awaiting trial, of whom 4,700 could qualify for pretrial services. Holding a single person in jail costs almost $11 a day in food, laundry, and medical care. Pretrial service options in five Washington counties, the report finds, cost just $3.59 per person per day. The report makes no specific recommendations, but notes that in Spokane and Yakima counties, defendants on pretrial release were less likely to reoffend than those who waited for trial in jail. The findings are under review by a panel of judges for possible reform to the bail system. Jefferson Robbins, iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Change doesn't have to be complicated. With a low-profile microwave hood combination that's ready to install right out of the box. It fits in the same space as your under-cabinet hood, so you can get your microwave off the countertop and make space for the routines worth keeping. The low-profile microwave hood combination from the number one selling appliance brand in the USA. Whirlpool Appliances. Now available at More Furniture in Ephrata. Governor Jay Inslee and State Attorney General Bob Ferguson are urging gun dealers in the state to abide by the terms of Initiative 1639. Inslee and Ferguson sent a letter Thursday to 262 gun dealers who operate in counties where sheriffs have indicated they will not enforce I-1639. The letter noted that as a condition of their federal licenses, gun dealers are required to comply with state and federal law. Unless a court rules otherwise, laws and initiatives are presumed to be constitutional. As of now, no court has struck down any provision of the initiative. The letter also warns dealers of the possibility of getting their license taken away or state or federal criminal charges if they break the law. I-1639 already prohibits selling semi-automatic assault rifles to those under age 21 and remaining provisions go into effect July 1st. Among the remaining provisions are expanded background checks on all sales of semi-automatic rifles that will be the same as those that have been performed on handgun sales for many years and new gun storage requirements. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. If you're a woman who loves a bargain on designer clothing and accessories and who'd like to support a great cause while shopping for such items, and there's a big sale coming up in the Wenatchee Valley soon that you certainly won't want to miss. The 10th annual My Girlfriend's Closet shopping event is happening Thursday, March 14th through Sunday, March 17th. The occasion is once again being organized and hosted by the Women's Service League of Wenatchee, and this year will feature its largest selection of merchandise ever. The event has also been moved to the site of the former Hastings Bookstore location on 9th Street, one which offers roughly 30,000 square feet of floor space to showcase the variety of donations which have been piling up since last year's affair. We have everything from uh, wedding dresses, 
uh, designer gowns, brand new coats, designer purses, jewelry, a huge display of shoes. We just have so much room this year that we can display more and have more. And this community has been so generous with their donations as far as clothing. We collect the clothing and sort it all year long. And uh, we had two uh, warehouses or storage units full and here we are and it's all out and we're still getting donations every day. True to traditional form, My Girlfriend's Closet is kicking off its 2019 happenings with a ticketed preview party on March 14th, which will offer about 200 lucky ladies first access to all the clothes, shoes, purses, and jewelry that is available at this year's sale, along with a reception featuring catered spirits and hors d'oeuvres, as well as a silent auction where the event's most valuable high-end items will be up for bid. What we do is select the best of the best of the items, and a lot of times we have things that are brand new. They have tags on them everything. So we have sunglasses, we have jewelry, we have um, brand new designer handbags. The proceeds raised through My Girlfriend's Closet are given back to the community by the Women's Service League in support of programs which benefit women, children, and the homeless in North Central Washington. The event also funds a pair of WSL education scholarship programs too. Following the preview party, all merchandise goes on sale to the general public on March 15th and 16th, after which any leftover items will be offered at a free shopping event for area nonprofits and students, and anything still remaining after that is all donated to the local YWCA. Tickets for this year's preview party are available for $40 and can be purchased at the UPS store in the Harley Center on North Wenatchee Avenue. Reporting for iFiber One News, I'm Chris Hansen. The Moses Lake Chiefs softball team has taken the Big Nine every year for the past six seasons, and this year looks to continue that trend. Last season, a young Chiefs team went undefeated in the conference with only one senior, Brooke Richardson, in the starting lineup. Richardson wasn't just the only senior starter last season, she was the only senior on the team. The Chiefs bring back eight of their nine starters from last year and own a wealth of depth across the board. The Chiefs are anchored by two junior pitchers, Savannah Ashley and Gina Skinner. Both of them are excited for the upcoming season. Um, we're focused really hard on getting better and like pushing ourselves past our limits. Yeah, I think we'll be even better than last year. I mean, we did lose a good stick, but I think we have a lot of good younger girls. Head coach Mike Hoffines has high expectations for his team, and he believes they can deliver. Yeah, I think our goals are to win the league first of all, and win the district title, and then go try to win something at stake. I mean, it's kind of the same goals we had last year, and I think, like you said, we returned all but one starter, so um, I think uh, we're the favorite to win the league, but we got to go and execute. The season starts for the Chiefs next Friday, March 15th, when they travel to Spokane to take on 2018 state playoff team, University High School. That game will begin at 3.30 p.m. at University High School. I'm Adam Chikoski. For iFiber One Sports. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.